Lick his thumb and smell his pink, nigga They throwing shots, time to see if them pussy niggas can take it The nigga whack is a snitch and the jolly niggas are rated See Lush was on to something, tried to act like it was nothing Said you ain't know that freaky ass taker you was fronting Munchie ain't fucking with you and spider Loke ain't gon' save you If you want it, you gon' take it, stop them freaky ass behaviors Let's get straight to the point, see we ain't gotta wait for later Nigga with your last name, kidnap that girl before he raped her Said the moms of gang members don't deserve no peace of prayers When General Butt naked, the kid Tesher is your savior You ain't gotta stall me out, cause I I ain't asking for no favors, get it cracking right now. We ain't gotta wait for later. Walked into your own building, heard my voice, and then you ducked away. Was humble like a bitch, cause you a hoe, stay in your fucking place. That nigga whack is let a pathetic flock goes a fucking lane. Whack can't come outside because he hiding from his fucking gang. Talking like you tough when niggas spitting in your fucking face. T Row didn't quit, we wouldn't even know your fucking name. Whack in front of Adam, but Adam is how he do you. See, Flocko lied on me, and then Whack told me to sue you. Treated Whack like a bitch, you should have seen it, it was beautiful. Now, every single week, that nigga Jala on my is it Fred or is it Frederick? Is it Dave or is it David? All thighs on me. Flock of belly, now you famous. Type of creep nigga is you. How are you and Dave related? Nigga, no means no. You should have told him not to take it. I'm really in the field. You nigga stuck inside the matrix. From BET to the Knicks. Down in Compton, where your face is. That nigga real Jala got some freaky ass cases. Trying to fake fight Lush cause Adam wanted you to face. You wanna be like academics. Making videos like point and shoot. You and Dave the same ass lame. We know the fucking truth. Brick ain't say this shit is a play. Cause he don't fuck with you. He not gonna Get involved when them real shooters come for you If you grew up in the land, them thirsties, they would've humbled you Grew up with them lions, I promise they would've hunted you I get disrespectful, the next time I'ma punish you You dirty fat bitch, I swear to God I see the bum in you Niggas say they shooters till it's time to bring them guns out Loose can't read and whack lost his wife to clubhouse She whack like a bitch, mark him out before he snitch again Block him when I see you, I'ma show you the type of bitch you is Niggas say they see me, they pulling blick out I promise that this Glock can make you sit down Drum with a cooler one for you, one for your brother Wrap the string around the mop Sound like your dumb ass when you stutter Swear to God, nigga yeah, bro, no, Yo, y'all, we're trapping, tapping in, seeing, and trapping news network. We back in the same, back in the same, like, cook, cracking the same, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe for more of this good content we got going on here at TNN and Trap News Network. It's that good news you can use. It's that good knowledge, though. We can't get nobody's college, though. Big dog, tap in with the tap in to make sure that you really tapped in with this good tap in, man. Hit that subscribe button, become part of this trapper mafia. Hit that notification bell at the top. Hit all, say tapped in for the latest and the greatest of what we got going on here at TNN and Trap News Network. You feel me? You feel me? Like, comment, subscribe, man. Subscribe button, notification bell. Hit all that. You feel me? Find me on Instagram, Trap News Network, T R A P N E W S N E T W O. R X Trap News Network and make sure that y'all hit me up on all streaming that um my mouth is dry. God damn that was terrible. Uh my bad y'all that was ugh. Um my water at. Ugh. I don't like that. Excuse me y'all. I just came from jujitsu. Did a lot of sweating. A lot of sweating. Sorry. One second. Get high quality H2O. Anyway, broke baby mama. Words are hard out now. Get into that. You ain't got into that. We finna jump into this Contiana. Rich Trap House and Merch Shop. Tap into that too. We finna jump into this Contiana, man. Munchie B. Shout out to Hood World. Hood World. Hood War Stories. Hood War Stories. Make sure y'all <coughs> show them some love. It says he shot so many crips, they threw a party when they thought that he was 187. The story of Munchie B. Let's get into this content. Let's go. I'll be full of bloods. His father was from the 89 family swans which is considered welcome to hood war stories in this episode i'll be discussing the life of munchie b munchie b was born in inglewood california into a family full of bloods his father was from the 89 family swans which is considered one of the deadliest blood sets of all time and his older brother is from crenshaw mafia he grew up in a nice two-parent household in the middle class yet gang infested neighborhood of morningside park as a youth he enjoyed playing sports in particular football and basketball 
But eventually the gang life took over. In the eighth grade, Munchie officially got his put on and was a member of the Inglewood family bloods. And things would get real from that point. One afternoon after school let out, Munchie and fellow blood members were walking to the Carl's Jr. in Manchester. When they arrived at Carl's, a car pulls up. A few men wearing green hop out and walk past Munchie's group into the Carl's Jr. Them wearing all green signified that they were from Hustlers, who was an enemy to the Inglewood families and NHP. A physical altercation ensued, which ended up with the Bloods beating up the Hustlers and taking their food. After the mark out, Munchie and a few others make their way to the Inglewood swap meet on foot. A few minutes later, a car pulls up and lets off numerous shots. Munchie down, three more shots, another blood down. Munchie got hit in the arm and another bullet grazed him in the head. He was admitted to the UCLA hospital where they stapled him up. He left there with a red cast and was out trooping on Crenshaw and Manchester the next day. In hindsight, the attempt on Munchie's life would turn him up on. Goodness freaking gracious, man. Whew. Knocked one to the arm, knocked one to the head. Left the hospital with a red cast and was back trooping. I'm not going to say the next day because the hospital wouldn't even let you go the next day. But I get the point. Goodness gracious. Max, part one of Munchie's rampage. He allegedly... This is like the craziest origin story. Like, that can make somebody into a 187er for sure, for sure. But on every last one of his enemies, <clears throat> repeatedly, from the 30s to the 100s, in hindsight, the attempt on Munchie's life would turn him up on Max. Part one of Munchie's rampage. He allegedly slid on every last one of his enemies, repeatedly. From the 30s to the 100s, Legend Crips, and even participated in putting their work on Queen Street, where the Inglewood families were once engaged in a blood-on-blood -blood war. Munchie was relentless, and everyone knew he was out for blood. He allegedly had people scared to come out the house. Get it? Out for blood? Ba -ba Psh, don't worry about it. Terrorizing and chasing down 9 0s through Jesse Owens Park. He was wrecking so much havoc, even his enemies had to give him his credit. Oh, Munchie. Wreaking so much havoc. Not wrecking. Words are hard. Don't worry about it. He allegedly had people scared to come out the house, terrorizing and chasing down 9-0s through Jesse Owens Park. He was wrecking so much havoc, even his enemies had to give him his credit. Oh, Munchie B, you know, really could. Let me tell you something about Munchie B, bro. I saw the damn news. Coach pulling up. Coach doing it. Like, he made shit. He made shit interesting. He made shit fun and whatever. But then I went to the county and I was squabbling niggas and shit. And like, and then I'm a twin from, from 107. He was like, yeah, he made, he made. Munchie, Munchie be on some weird shit, bro. But it's like, I know he made shit interesting. I know, I know Cut made shit interesting on the hood. Because, nigga, he was the only niggas coming through the hundreds. He was the only niggas coming through our sides. But, you know, whatever Cut got to say, I'm not going to say nothing about Cut because I know Cut came through. Cut went to Washington. Unless that ain't that on the block side? I, 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 I'm pretty sure that's on the block side. Hey, now that's a big thing too. Munchie B literally going to school in his enemy hood, not going to Morningside, not going to uh, not going to uh, Inglewood, going to Washington. That's, that's something to be admired for sure. He went to Washington homecoming and was in the stands and walked out that motherfucker. Nothing happened to cut. But that, but I'm pretty sure that was on the block side. But you know, that's that's you know, we just gonna let that go. And on the other hand, many of his enemies despised him, which spoke volumes of what type of problem he was. Over time, Munchie became the biggest trophy in his hood, with the highest rank. In 2010, Munchie had the city buzzing when he and 30 other Inglewood family bloods marched in Nipsey Hussle's clothing store, which was then Sloss and Tees, and tore up the whole establishment. And took all the clothes. Allegedly, a few Rolling Sixties were there, but had to flee when the mob of family stormed in. Hours later, Nipsey, as well as a gang of other NHs, slid back through Inglewood heavy. Prior to Nipsey rapping, apparently Munchie and Nipsey didn't cross paths much, as Munchie claimed to not have known of Nipsey. Um, this is where Munchie B puts out a, a, a quote that says, Nipsey Hustle named Thundercat from 60s, right? Why well, I never heard of him before rapping. They hood nine blocks down. That's uh, Munchie B antagonizing Nipsey Hussle. Munchie continued his rampage, allegedly shooting up the 40s weekly with how active Munchie was. It was inevitable that he made frequent trips in and out of jail. But there's one infamous rumor hanging over Munchie B, like a dark cloud from one of those times he was in the county jail. I wondered if they was going to bring up this peanut butter story, and yes, they are. 
allegedly four leaf and a few other rolling 40 crips caught munchy b in the core tank squabbled him down ko'ing him they then dragged him to the corner and allegedly proceeded to put peanut butter in his booty hole for context in the county jail peanut butter is put on pastries honey buns danishes cinnamon rolls etc this was the 40 sadistic way of exposing munchy b as sweet soft there's talk that a broomstick was involved in the fiasco but allegedly peanut butter was definitely involved in the mix Nipsey even tweeted about the incident. And that's when Nipsey Hussle uh, says, what happened to Munchie B? All right, don't be next. Sheesh. It's alleged Munchie turned up super after he got out of jail. Allegedly, three Crips got knocked down, two rolling 40s and one rolling 60. This is all alleged and rumors that floated around LA during that time. Munchie has been shot on six different occasions, but it'd be one bullet in particular that would be life-changing for him. One day in 2012, Munchie was driving down Imperial in his personal car. This was a car that he never did dirt in. It was more low-key, one that he would ride with his family and kids. All tense, a car that his enemies wouldn't recognize easily. As he pulls up to Imperial San Pedro, another car pulls up alongside. As soon as the light turns green, that car starts dumping on Munchie's vehicle, lighting it up with bullets. Only one bullet struck Munchie. That means that somebody knew what that car was. That means that somebody either gave a drop or was playing a crazy game of spy and detective and been creeping on him. But got him right in the temple. Both are dangerous. But what's more dangerous, you lacking or one of your people giving the drop on you? <sighs> crazy. It immediately went black for him and he crashed into some railroad tracks. That car starts dumping on Munchie's vehicle, lighting it up with bullets. Only one bullet struck Munchie, but got him right in the temple. It immediately went black for him, and he crashed into some railroad tracks. Unfortunately, his optic nerve was severed from that bullet, causing Mushy to lose his eyesight. When word spread that Mushy got shot in the head, the Crips were rejoicing, and multiple parties were thrown to celebrate because they- Rejoicing is a crazy word. It sounds so, like, church-like. Thought he was dead. Ghost from Legend Chris went as far as to say he joined whatever set killed Munchie. Members from the 40s and the 60s were infuriated when they found out that he had pulled through. But if you kept your ear to the streets, you may have heard that it was actually someone within his own gang that was behind the shooting. Munchies from the Nine Deuce clique of the Inglewood families. Rumors that floated that the gunman was actually an older member from the 7th Street clique. Fast forward to 2016. Munchies' close homie Red Bull was- That's what I'm saying. Like, what's, dang what's more dangerous? Getting popped because you got caught lacking? Somebody gave a drop on you or your, like, which would fall into the same category of your homie double cross and you kind of fall in the same category. Somebody giving a drop on you. Betrayal is betrayal. But like, damn, bro, what's more dangerous? We're in a pajama party in Carson. One man is shot and killed, two others wounded in a shooting in Carson. Yeah, this happened just before midnight during a party in the 100 block of West Victoria Street. Eyewitness News reporter Jade Hernandez live at the scene with the very latest mm -hmm. news. Jade. Well, when we pulled up, Victoria and Maine was blocked off. It still is right now. The shooting, we understand, happened where these balloons are tied right now. I spoke to two women, actually, when uh, we pulled up, and they told me that they were just too scared to talk on camera. But they say that they were at the party when gunfire erupted last night before midnight. They tell me they And that's the case that sent uh, Draco the ruler to jail on that 187 charge when he said, like, he beat, you know, life and all that kind of stuff. They were trying to get him all day this is the situation where um you know they got into a munchie beast homie and you know god bless the dead god bless red bull family god bless his soul when that young man lost his life so this is a tricky little situation who was shot and killed or who the other two men are who were taken to the hospital they say this was a birthday party for a woman and at least 200 people were there to ensure safety, birthday organizers even hired security, and every person who entered was checked for weapons. But these women told me about 30 young men showed up after the party started and were turned away because they didn't have IDs and some had guns. Uh, something happened in the parking lot, shots were fired, and the next thing that these two women told me that they knew was that someone who had been shot in the parking lot ran back into the party. Draco and the state team would end up going down for the murder. When Draco was released in 2020, he aligned himself with the Rolling Hunters and the Six O's, <clears throat> who are the Inglewood family's main enemies. He also began dissing Red Bull on various songs and occasions. This further sparked a back and forth feud between Draco and the Inglewood families, with Munchie being the frontliner and defending his fallen homie. Things reached new levels when Draco dropped Ingle Weird, a track that dissed the entire city of Inglewood, which included a shot aimed directly at Munchie. I just, I just dropped 50 on a blind nigga, he ain't see it coming. Meaning that Draco put a 50K hit on Munchie B the night that Draco was murdered. 
when she popped a bottle of Hennessy to celebrate, he also let off a series of tweets, letting the public know what was on his mind. It says, Nip smoke spoke ill on me. Hashtag dead. Draco spoke bad on my name. Hashtag dead. Yeesh. Yeesh. These days, much of B is on his OG stack. Again, God bless the family of Nipsey Hussle and Draco the Ruler. Goodness gracious. His, his reputation in the streets has been solidified, and he's regarded as one of the realest. He encourages the youth to stay away from gangs. He says he's not trying to be a role model, but an example. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please. All right, man, that's the end of that. Shout out to Hood War Stories. We up out here to the next video. Make sure y'all like, make sure y'all comment, make sure y'all subscribe for more of this good content that we got going on here at TNN Trap News Network. That good news you can use, that good knowledge, though. You can't get nobody's college, though, man. We up out here to the next one. It's free. I've been Andrew, so he's free. We are gone.